One of the biggest things that I think a lot of brands and advertisers don't consider when choosing anyone to work with, whether it's a social mm -hmm. media creator or if it's a newsletter author, is that they become very fixated on the originator of the content medium, the creator themselves. Let's just like pick a random example. Let's say it's like a kid's food brand or something. Their ideal customer persona is a mom with kids between the ages of, you know, four and 12. Let's just make that up. And so they go out and find influencers if they decide to work with influencers as one of their tactics, it fit that mold exactly. However, there may be other creators out there who don't fit that mold, but have a lot of people in their audience who fit that mold. And so right. a lot of brands and advertisers miss a huge opportunity by not trying to double click on the demographics and psychographics of people's audiences, even if the creator themselves don't fit the mold. And so I think the same can hold true with a lot of newsletter creators. So like they may have a lot of one type of perspective customer in their audience, but that person who runs the newsletter doesn't fit the mold. And so the brand just immediately says, I'll pass. That's not a good fit. That's actually something that I've been thinking about a lot more when I look at people to partner with for my newsletter and things like that is like, yeah, the audience isn't social media creators, but who can I find where the audience is maybe solopreneurs or freelancers or authority driven businesses who would resonate with this message of trying to hone their sponsorship expertise and strategy?